I'm Everything's fine correct. Is yep. there any other notations? Hearing none. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. Item four, the public comment period. The public is wishes to address the board limited to two minutes each. The public comment period uh, will not exceed 30 minutes in length. Anybody in the audience wish to speak to the board? Go ahead. Truly clever. Um, I gave uh, copies of the uh, fireworks ordinance to each one of the board members tonight. Um, I think that uh, um, as you can see on 54.3 of the ordinance, it says any device that contains more than a quarter grain of explosive powder that emits a report uh, discharges a flame or leaves the ground is not permitted to be sold or possessed in the town of Grand Rapids. Um, last year with these uh, cannons that were around, I had three on uh, 45th Street, one on, over on 42nd Court, and one on 46th Street. I think um, it, uh, the ordinance then follows with the table of forfeitures um, and uh, possession or use of illegal fireworks is 25 to $300 fine. I think the town board, and we, since we have a couple months here, needs to set forth a policy that, the, that goes to the police chief down to the officers that um, these fines and this ordinance needs to be enforced. So we don't have these problems anymore. So I would hope that next month this would be on the agenda and the town board would address this. Okay, thank you for your comment. Anybody else in the audience wish to speak to the board? Go ahead in the back, Gary. Okay. I'd like to speak on item 10 or does that come up later for public comment? Uh, you, your time will be now. So okay. I'm going to bring my mask down, but I'm six feet away, <laughs> okay, and I had my shots. My name is Gary Johnson, um, Director of Ambulance Operations and Co-Owner of United Emergency Medical Response, the ambulance service that provides your contracted 911 service in this area. And uh, we are opposed to the walking trail, and I want to explain why. Um, it's for security reasons. 10 years ago, or no, 13 years ago, when we were picking a site for our ambulance station, one of the big things was security. We didn't want to be in the middle of a metropolitan area where we had a lot of traffic around us, and I'll explain why. So our site that we're presently on was ideal for that. One side, the Lions Club, they weren't going anywhere. Other side, Dwayne's Auto, they weren't going anywhere. Met with the city, they said they were never going to develop there right away. Met with, uh, talked to some of the landowners behind that. They said they weren't planning on going anywhere. So we built the station there. And the reason the security is there, even though we do have it camera, we do have it locked down, is because we have several million dollars of equipment sitting in there. Um, the back sh the garage is alone. We have a speedboat, 115 for, uh, horsepower Mercury um, outboard for rescue. We have 800 cc ATVs, we have a snow plow. All this equipment is sitting in these garages and bays. In the ambulance station, we have four ambulances. Each one has a defibrillator, 35 grand a piece. Each one has automatic cot, 32,000 a piece. We have narcotics, benzos, medications. Now, they're locked up, but that doesn't say that if, some, if we were out on a call or something and somebody came in, if you ever read big city news, you know ambulance services are a prime target as their ambulances are for drug seekers, et cetera. So now, if we have somebody cutting through our lot, we go out and we ask them if we can help them. It's very rare. There's no reason for people to be behind our station. Uh, with that walking trail, we will be the closest to Counter Road. And because we have it open, you can see Counter Road. And because you have the fence for the Lions Club in the woods the rest of the way down, that's going to be the prime spot for people to cut through to the sidewalk and Counter Road. It's going to be our station, our two and a half acres. We really don't want that. Uh, second of all, we have a racetrack behind our station. It's an ATV racetrack. Our people have to qualify several times a year on that track to run ATVs. It was designed by a professional designer. Kids go back there once in a while now, 
BMX biking, we got to kick them off. Our insurance company hates that. Now that's going to border the walking path. Think of the mess I'm going to have there. Now we still pick up beer cans, beer bottles, litter once in a while. Parties will occur back there once in a while. We can handle that. People walk back there, they highly respect it. Horses go back there, they respect it. It's rare, so we have no problem with it. But if it becomes a thoroughfare, when only 100 yards away, you have an approved walkway already that you've been using, you're paralleling the same one with a new one. I don't even understand that concept. You so, have 30 seconds left. That's it? You Any questions? Well, Thank you. Can. Anybody else? When do we comment? Do we comment later or no? Right now. Yeah, public right comment now. period is now for any item on the agenda now. Okay, we live on 45th yeah, please, Court. Please, you need to ask to, ask to be recognized, then stand up, tell your name, and then... The okay, I've never been to a meeting like this before. <laughs> right. You want to do it? I've only been to about 50. You go, what is your name for the record? David stand Witt. Stand up. Yeah, about well, two minutes, sir. My wife and I also live on the trail. Um, we live on 45th Court. We know we've seen people run up and down the trails. I myself had had one time when the police, they, some kids stole some mini bikes from the campground and they were riding them around there. Now I can only see that if this trail gets built there's going to be more of this kind of action I don't know now all the aspects I've heard that they, all, they were also talking about putting lights up no lights uh, I can't comment I'm sorry because right. if that happens now my area of my backyard is going to be influenced by the lights I don't want that. Not to mention people running through there all the time. Okay. Yeah. Going to our garage. Okay. So, for security reasons, I don't want that. I don't want more people trafficking down there. For a chance that my house may be broken into. And the other thing is, when were we going to get notified of this? 30 seconds, sir. Okay, we were never notified. We have found out accidentally about this meeting about talking about it tonight. Okay, who owns the land also is another question I'd like to know. Thank you. Anybody else in the audience wish to speak? No, I don't. Alan, can you just state your name for the record again? Alan, Alan, again, bye, FYE. I also oppose the walking path. And as for Article 12, the notation to the uh, fireworks, I think that should be doable. You got money to donate to a walking path, right? Thank you. Anybody else in the audience wish to speak? Go ahead. You and Brown there, sir. Name for the record. Uh, my name is Peter Cook. I live <coughs> on the south side of the proposed walking trail behind Duane's. I live way off of the road. I don't like the idea of the general public going down there for security reasons too. And uh, I think we should have been notified ahead of time also about this goings on with proposing this trail here. Uh, I think that we should have been notified in a in a timely manner. I guess uh, that's it. Then. I go along with okay. what. Ma My name is Kay Ashbeck. Um, you know, we, I was notified by another person in Grand Rapids. Um, I don't understand who owns the land. I understand it's the city of Wisconsin Rapids. Now this person informed me that if they do this upgrade and make the trail, that Grand Rapids is responsible for payment of this track. Now why? Because we already have one. And she told me that if you, now my land butts up to this and I'm very exposed to the trail. And she said, well you, they could put a fence up, but that would be at my expense. And I'm like, well what good would a fence do? 
because they just go around the fence. She said that the Grand Rapids Police Department have stated that they do not have the force to supervise this area. So this is gonna just want to bring in kids to have beer parties and whatnot in a very secluded area. So yes, I'm very concerned. There's, I don't understand why we were not informed about this. And all of a sudden out of the blue, you know, I don't even know who owns the land. I understand what's gonna happen to the snowmobile trail. Uh, <coughs> so yes, I have some concerns and we would be responsible too for the upkeep of it. With the citizens of Grand Rapids, why? If, if the city owns it, why are we responsible for it? So those are my questions. I'd just like more information on the history and what's going on here. All right, in the back, go ahead, ma'am. Uh, Darla Witt, um, I'm her, or his husband, <laughs> but <laughs> we're also concerned. It's been such a nice, quiet haven back there, and to think that people are gonna be running back through there. I am noticing already more people seem to be walking a little bit there and they're dropping their garbage and beer cans and um, it seems to be getting a little bit worse. This would just advocate even more and more and more. And like he was, Gary was saying, there's another trail that runs just the other side that this is not necessary. All right, anybody else? Go ahead, sir. <coughs> John Ackerman, I, uh, I have land adjoining this uh, proposed walking trail and I agree with everyone here um, one of my biggest uh, complaints I guess would be outright the quality of life for anyone uh, uh, near this trail is going to be reduced I, I don't feel that that's fair for a handful of people to take that from the taxpayers in addition to spending in excess of $100,000 of our money without really putting it, you know, to the in entire township as to whether we want to spend this money on something that, that I feel is, is frivolous and foolish <coughs> and just a little bit underhanded in the way it's progressing. So, um, in a nutshell, yeah, I'm dead against it. Okay. Anybody else? <coughs> Go ahead, sir. I'm Verlin Ashbeck. I live on 45th Court. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a snowmobiler, but do the snow does the snowmobile club, are they aware of this? Is that be the end of the snowmobile club? I can't trail? answer any questions. This is your top, top or your Okay, here. well, <coughs> I'd like to know if they know about it or if I'm surprised there isn't anybody here from, from, uh, from the club. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, Shirley in the back and then you, sir. Okay. Um, yeah. I, when I was at the Economic Development Committee um, and found out that uh, it was going to cost $130,000 to $150,000 to put hard pack or whatever, some kind of gravel or whatever, the length of that trail, I know that you're going for grants for, for the majority of this. And yeah. even though you're going to go to Legacy Foundation and they probably got deep pockets. I, I feel that their money could be better utilized for uh, something other than this trail that I do not feel like others feel, and I've said this before, that you've got that paved path right along W there. And for anybody to want to come off of that paved path to go off onto some kind of gravel path for that length of, of an area, I feel is a total waste of, uh, whatever money gets donated or if it does so okay and you sir my name is jd ramirez i live on 45th court and my property uh, lines up or backs up to this uh property we're talking about i've had people come into my yard i've had to shoo them away i've had things stolen i put up no trespassing signs along the walkway there and those got stolen. So I just want to echo everybody else's sympathy uh, as far as opposing, I want to get on record, opposing this really dumbass idea. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. All right, everybody's had the turn that wanted to speak once and some of you have had twice. Is there anybody else that hasn't spoke that wants to spoke? If not, we'll close this and move to our regular agenda items.
All right, no other comments. We'll move to the regular agenda items. Uh, monthly reports from departments. The fire department, Chief uh, Robert Pyatt. Good evening, board residents. Uh, I'm Chief Pyatt, I'm the this last call we had uh what's up turn on the camera oh <laughs> <laughs> this last call we had uh 19 medical calls and uh um only five fire calls this month uh we had one st structure alarm two wildland brush two motor vehicle accidents so um training this last month was uh, uh ems did project lifesaver and the Fire department did pumping evolutions with our new engine. So we held uh, one monthly meeting, one department officer meeting, and five training meetings. Um, our smoke detector program is resumed again through the Red Cross, so we're now installing smoke detectors again. And uh, uh, we've sold six signs this, street signs this month, or address signs, I'm sorry. Um, no injuries to report for the Safety department, any questions from the board? Cool. Yes, Pat. Hi, Bob. Yes. Can you um, tell us how is the fire danger right now? Uh, it's definitely coming down as things are greening up. So. Okay. But it's still high? It's been, yeah, it's been high lately. Yes. Okay. And then um, how do the building or burning permits work? How does one get um, a burning permit? You can get burning permits next door or you can go on dnr.gov. I'd have to look up online. There. Online, you do them online, and uh, uh, you can get them that way as well. Okay, thank you. So, all right. Any other question? No. Nope. Anything on the safety report? Uh, no injuries this month to report. All right. Thank you very much. Yep. Move to the police department, Chief Mel Peterson. In the month of April, the Grand Rapids Police Department handled 315 calls for service compared to 295 calls for service in April of last year, uh, a 6.7% uh, percent increase in calls. Uh, there's uh, a breakdown of those calls attached to the, the monthly report. The Police Department issued 33 traffic citations, 11 mi municipal ordinance citations, and 40 written warnings for the month of April. On April 6th, Sergeant Drinkwine attended Honor Guard refresher training at the Port Edwards Fire Department. That training was hosted by the Wood County Sheriff's Department. On April 21st, uh, participated in a podcast slash radio show hosted by Carrie and Ben Nikolai of Coldwell Banker Seaworth Realtors, Realtors, which aired on uh, WFHR AM radio on Sunday morning, uh, April 25th. The conversation centered around law enforcement and policing in Grand Rapids and the and public plan, our plan commission. Um, <coughs> we had um, the festival, Cranberry Blossom Festival, that we reviewed and recommended to the town board, which we had on the meeting tonight. And then we also reviewed the comprehensive plan and started working on the SWOT analysis, which is the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats um, and to develop our vision development for the comprehensive plan and um, also spoke with um, Chief Pyatt in regards to the um, fire uh, fireman's picnic that will be held in June June 12th June 12th thank you um, the Plan Commission wants to set up a booth just to be able to have some kind of public participation for the comprehensive plan. Um, because of COVID, we haven't been able to do what we really wanted to do to get more public involvement. So we feel maybe um, we'll be able to do utilize the booth and get more public involvement that way. That was about it. Okay. Any questions for the Plan Commission? Public safety, anything? No meeting, WTA meeting? No. <coughs> yes, uh, we had a county unit meeting on April 16th at the Rudolph Town Hall. There was 36 people there. Uh, the speaker was um, Chase Sprockman, who is here right now um, at this meeting. He, he, he spoke that night. He, he talked about um, much about the roads, and, and there was a lot of questions and response to Cold mix, hot mix, um, seal, chip seal, and 
stuff like that. And I and those in that information that was handed out at that, I put in all of the supervisors and Mr. Chairman in in, in your box also. That was discussed. There was new officers elected. I was elected uh, to chairman of the uh, Wood County uh, County Unit Chair. Vice Chair was Randy Newman. Neiman and the secretary was uh, Patricia Krieger. Uh, the next meeting will be at the town of Saratoga. And also another speaker that was there was uh, Representative Donna Rosar. Um, she was there and, and spoke lengthy on issues. And uh, Steve Dickerman was also there from the state organization. The next meeting is May 21st at the town of Saratoga. It will start at 7, if the meeting notice is it will start at 7 o'clock, but you will, you will be able to eat at 7 o'clock and at 7.30 the meeting will start. So get there early if you want to get it hot. That's all. Any questions? Move on to the airport commission. Uh, the airport's commission report for April was the fuel system uh, bids came in. Uh, bid came in approximately thirty thousand dollars underneath it. It's approximately a seven hundred thousand dollar project, of which the uh, state BOA pays eighty percent, and the airport commission pays uh, the uh, twenty percent. Uh, the engineering uh, part of the BOA is working on uh, height limitation and some uh, land purchases or easement purchases that the, uh, they will have to recur so that the trees that have grown up over height over the last 15, 20 years can be trimmed down to the height that is directly over the uh, north runway, which is 02. And uh, that st structure needs to be uh, maintained uh, in a timely fashion. Uh, the month of April was good as far as uh, jet fuel sales. Uh, over 3,000 gallons in the month of April, which is about uh, two, over 1,000 gallons more than normal April. Um, May is off to a rapid start. We're seeing a lot of jet traffic in and out for the uh, uh, Sand Valley Golf Course. Uh, local events, uh, the health department is having their last uh, COVID vaccines at the airport hangar on May 13th. Our local EAA Chapter 706 held a Young Eagles event where they allowed uh, children ages 8 to 17 to get a free ride and introductory materials for flight instruction. The EAA Chapter uh, typically does this once or twice a year and they will post their next one to us and we'll provide that information to the public. Uh, we've replaced a summer part-time help that uh, where we lost one due to uh, being unavailable. And aircraft activity, as Jeremy said, the manager, it is, it is rapid, big increasing. Any questions? Public buildings? We haven't met. Haven't met. Economic development. Um, the only additional item would be the um, feasibility study that the National Fitness Campaign did. Um, it came back that Lake Wazicha would probably be the most feasible place. So we just discussed um, having a meeting with the county and potentially turning it over to them or collaborating with them because it would be out of our hands then. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Cycling solid waste and water. We have a meeting coming up um, the 13th of this month, which is Thursday. And at the meeting, we will have our attorney at that meeting. Hopefully, because he was supposed to be here, but uh, hopefully he'll be there. And also, um, Dale Bars will be there from Waste Management, formerly Advanced Disposal. And I would encourage any of you people here, if you've got complaints about your garbage pickup and why they didn't pick up this or why they didn't tag that, we have a portion on our agenda that you can speak anytime the item comes up on the agenda, and we will respond to it as long as it's an agenda item. So that's, that's the meeting we're going to have. Okay, any questions? Legislative, uh, we will be meeting uh, tomorrow, hey? Eh?
Yes. We have about eight or nine items on their agenda, and we'll be following through with that. Personnel had a meeting, nothing to in public to report, though, correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, reports from individual board members. Patty. I have nothing. Jeremy, anything? Nothing. Bill? I have nothing. Amber? No, nothing. Ernie, I have nothing. Again, we have a second item for the public to comment. If we can wish to speak one more time to the board, two minutes each, not to exceed no more than 15, 16 minutes. If you have anything else you haven't said already, you wish to now, I will recognize you. Go ahead and way in the back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sorry. Here, sir. Uh, Steve San Martino. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the protocols are for uh, board review of my CSM. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm speaking too soon here or not, but I, I was wondering what the uh, procedures are for this review. Is that taking place tonight? I have no knowledge of that on our agenda. That would be something that the Planning Commission or is that a deal with? I oh, believe Peggy, Peggy, no, 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 um, he has a CSM. I think Peggy Arzoni, administrator, just oh. gave me, I think you have a public hearing in June. So that's a June board meeting. Well, I believe you're on this uh, notice that I got that the board will review. The board review will be May 11th at 6 p.m. Clerk will send notice. Thank you, Peggy. That was a mistake. I have heard that that was a mistake. I'm told because she had the wrong date on that. She has the wrong date on that. So and I, it was supposed to be June. Sorry they didn't let you know, but I did hear that. I guess. Uh, well, somebody should have sent him something. Yeah. At the uh, April 12th meeting, at the Zoning Commission meeting, uh, it was approved. Every barking dog that was uh, brought up at that meeting made the agenda for last month's mm -hmm. board meeting. I was sent this notice saying I would be on, on board here tonight. I've already waited 60 days, now you're telling me it's going to be another 30. I cannot tell you how the process went, but if you were on the agenda, you would have received the agenda notice. Would you like to see the well, writing? The, you'd, you'd, have, you'd have a, a spot holder on the on the, our agenda, which I don't have one. I'm sorry, but that apparently is... I can a, check with Peggy in the morning and have her give you a call. I believe that was the one where... I think she had the wrong date and there wasn't posting time or something, so she moved it to June. It's but, been 60 days. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll have her give you a call in the morning. write down a number and put somebody on the agenda. Well, I mentioned when I heard it, if that would be an emergency situation and it would take two hours before the meeting to put it on. But that was not done, so. Right, but this was April 12th. Wait. Yep, right, correct. I understand, I agree. Sir. Okay, I can't, I apologize, I can't do anything for you. In the back. On the donation of the fireworks, you said you had a lot of thousand dollars for last year. Well, obviously, you didn't have a fireworks show. No, we didn't spend it then. So, are you doubling up this no. year? No, that money unused has to go back into the general fund. Now, how come you can answer his question? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sometimes I forget, Bill. <laughs> Siege. Future agenda items, you got one bill, huh? You yes, yes, I'd like to put on the agenda to uh, uh, speak about uh, fireworks and well, during uh, Normally that would be a legislative thing because that would, it's an ordinance. So do we need to review it then or do we- I would like to review it so 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 we, we know we're going to have people watching out for it. It just- I'll have it on, and I'm not sure exactly what we can. Uh, then don't put it on. Well, you don't want that's it not on. what I said. I, I didn't say that we wasn't going to put it on. I said, I said we'll put it on. Yeah, okay. then, he, then he argues with me. Town of Grand Rapids is going to move into closed session to suit the statutes 1985 Print 1 Princey. Consider employment promotion, compensation, performance evaluation data over any public boy or which the government body has jurisdiction or exercise responsibility for the purpose of discussing evaluation the zoning, the zoning administrator assistance job duties. Who's going to make that motion? No motion. Amber, second. Arnie? We'll call vote. Amber? Aye. 
Bill? Aye. Jeremy? Aye. Patty? Aye. Arnie? Aye. We are in closed session. We want to thank you folks for coming. Southwood County area and the town of Grand Rapids rank as the sixth safest city in Wisconsin for 2021 as determined by SafeWise. On April 24th, the Grand Rapids Police Department, the Grand Rapids Auxiliary Police, Wisconsin Rapids Police Department, the Wood County Sheriff's Office, and the Wood County Health Department hosted a prescription drug take back event at Pick and Save in Wisconsin Rapids. Between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., we were able to collect just over 215 pounds of unwanted, expired, or unused pharmaceuticals at the collection site in front of uh, Pick and Save. In addition, the Grand Rapids Police Department collected 72 pounds of unwanted, expired, and unused pharmaceuticals at our drop box, which is located in the uh, uh, front office. These unused medications were then boxed and transported to Wausau for proper disposal. Uh, I'd like to thank the Wisconsin Rapids Police Department for their services in doing the transporting to Wausau. Event uh, was a huge success, and we hope to, to coordinate uh, additional events for the fall uh, take back event. Initial reports uh, Wisconsin collected a total of 60,632, that's over 30 tons of unwanted, expired, <coughs> unused pharmaceuticals. And uh, the initial reports, I think that put us second in the nation again. Uh, we always seem to be in the top uh, two or three. Uh, for the total amount collected for this uh, nationwide initiative. Uh, vehicles in the department doing well outside of normal maintenance and feel free to stop by and visit any time. Any questions? Thank you. Any questions for the board? Thank you. We move through the treasurer's report. And up, that's the numbers. Yep. Uh, good evening. For the month of April, current month receipts were 212000 985. Current month disbursements were 235,171. Cash on hand at the end of the month was 1,454,137 with 105,348 in checking and 1,060,951 in the repo account and 325,600 in the money market. Any questions? Yeah, thank you very much, Amy. Take care of the reports. We'll move to the first uh, action item. Consider a public action on Resolution 2021-09. It is to use permit for Maggie Milski on behalf of Wisconsin Rapids Area Commission and Tourism Bureau, Visitors Bureau, for the Cranberry Blossom Festival along with other community activities June 18th through the 20th located at the Grand Rapids Lions Club. 36th Street South, parcel 0700662BA. And just as an announcement to the board, I will be abstaining as I'm the president of the Lions Club this year. And I'll make that motion with the conditions of recycling containers to be provided and two conditional use permits is effective from June 14th to the 23rd rather than the 18th through 20, 20th of 2021 to allow for additional setup and cleanup time. And um, also um, to make sure that you follow the, um, the carnival ordinance number five as far as the building setback of 30 feet from the back property line for setup. I will second that motion. The motion is made, sec made by Patty, seconded by Bill. Is there a discussion? Hear none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No opposed, one abstention. Thank you. Item seven is then the uh, uh, open and possible awarding of bids for gravel for road construction this year. Oh, you can open them and hand me one. The first one is from Bone Trucking. And then you cut it in half, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bone trucking 2021 gravel bid uh, agrees to supply and haul three quarter gravel at eleven seventy five per ton, eleven dollars seventy five cents per ton, approximately two hundred to five hundred tons. We and have a second. Second from Laddick Road Materials. Laddick Road Materials will supply and deliver any amount of one hundred percent fractured 
three quarter inch cross grill base anywhere in the town for eleven ninety five per ton. Or do you have those wishes? Eleven seventy five for bone, eleven ninety five for lattic. I'll make, I'll, make, well, go ahead, Bill. I'll make a motion for the eleven seventy five by bone. Okay, is there a second? I'll second that. Seconded by motion by Bill, second by Patty. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No opposed. Item 8. Uh, do we have that item right here? Okay, hang on. Out of sync here. Item uh, 8. Uh, uh, Chief Pye had reported to me that the water softener system at the fire station is defunct. 30 some years old, we believe, correct? 1986 vintage. Uh, we have two proposals, AJ uh, Plumbing LLC, 118255, and Miller, uh, which appears to be 1200. 2400. 2400, uh, with two filters, and then and potentially a, a repaired unit. The, the, the 820 on that, that's what it would have cost to fix the no. unit, and I said we're not fixing a water software at all. The, but anyway, so he quote, Miller quoted me 2400, and then I called uh, ANJ to get a second quote or to, to see what, what the deal was. He came and tested our water and uh, and this unit he's quoting, he says will more than handle our water uh, in the state it's at. And that one is, uh, well he said 1182.55 complete, so. Okay, you do have those funds in your maintenance budget, is that Yes, correct? I do. Okay, board, any questions, comments? Well, I, I just have a comment. I, I, I serve on the buildings committee. I'm not the chairman of it, but we have not had a meeting in two years, for whatever reason that is. Why, why didn't this go through the buildings committee? Simply because we had a board meeting coming up here, and and he explained that it was down. I make a motion we table this until we <coughs> and refer it back to the. Um, Buildings committee. I can second that. Is there a second? Any yeah, discussion? Second uh, no discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. It's not, a, not referred. Motion to approve. Motion. Amber? I'll second for discussion. Any other discussion? Was there, so this is budgeted out of the fire department building expense it'll come, out of my, it'll come out of my building maintenance fund so the 24 would have been searched but i can make the like you said the the aj plumbing is the one i want to go with because obviously it's cheaper but he tested our water and quoted the system it's half the price of miller water conditioning so so is the filters that go with this new system let's um less expensive than maybe the other filters also I mean, the ongoing filters? It's just going to use salt like it did before. Oh, okay. But the unit that, that's back there now, it's leaking through, the, it's leaking on the floor on a daily basis and has been leaking for a few months. So I finally got somebody in here to look at it. And Is there something that else that's in the, your building expense um, fund that you have budgeted for your account is going to suffer because of it shouldn't different things occur throughout the building every okay. year or whatever so I didn't know if yeah. from your budget report you had envisioned other repairs that's where I'm going with that so and this I, is you guys gave me three thousand dollars for building maintenance this okay. year so and I've used a little of that up but yeah if okay. I take another 1200 I'll still have a bunch left okay any other discussion there none all favor say aye how about aye do we have three guys Yes. And any opposed? Consider a box of action on bidding out the asphalt chip seal project. That's uh, that's a three-way project between Saratoga and uh, uh, Port Edwards Village of Port Edwards and the Tower Grand Rapids for the four and a half miles of uh, Town Line Road. Uh, this. Uh, do we have that bid document in front of us? That was yes. Okay, you've got the document that is going to be posted in the 
paper. Uh, the board just needs to prove that we're actually going to do this on a bid, and this would be a shared process based upon the foreman that we used when we rebuilt uh, Tall Mine Road. The specs that were uh, suggested were the specs of the former highway commissioner that uh, was just recently retired from the town of Saratoga. I'll make a motion to approve the request. Motion by Bill. I'll second. Second by Jeremy. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No opposed. Motion carries. Item 10. Uh, Consider a possible action on Supervisor France to action for Supervisor France to present a request to Wood County Seat Committee on obtaining $15 with a match from fund $15,000 matching grant uh, for the possible trail extension project. Amber, you have any updates on that? Um, so this would be. Um, presenting to the seed committee, they w um, potentially would award us $15,000 to put towards the um, trail extension and what's in the agreement. So any of those pieces, like, for example, we can't, we can't move forward without that fence. So like that would be, you know, dollars that could go towards that. So this could be indeed used for any a thorough reviews mm -hmm. of any other uh, uh, costs that we might be possible to occur, right? Right, correct. Any questions? Very none. Is there a motion to come forward? I'll make a motion. Motion by Jeremy. Second by Arnie. Discussion? Yes. What? I'll be voting against the motion. For the reasons that was all discussed here, I am surely we went and we passed out that this was coming. We passed it out to people that live in uh, but the subdivision right back here, Black Forest. We we talked to several people, and yes, they they were opposed to it. We asked them if they would come to a meeting, and they said no. And then, and Mr. Cook had talked to me, had called, given me a call about it. I, I brought that forward too, and that was about who was the ownership of that property, and. I, I, I am quite surprised to hear the people that are opposed to it. And, and I guess I know the reason why they are opposed to it is because we really didn't have a public hearing on it. We really didn't have a chance to talk to these people. And then when I did come to this meeting about this, I found out it's going to cost $150,000 or $120,000 to $150,000 to put down uh, the, for the pathway for that. What I thought is all we had to do is go in there and build up some low spots so people wouldn't be walking in water. I did not know we were doing the whole thing that way. So I'll be voting against this, and I think it should be, I'm not going to make a motion to it, but I think it should be tabled. But that's discussion? my thoughts on it. Any other discussion? I'll just make a, a comment that uh, this is a long ways from being to a point that it's ever going to get done. I, th I think people need to understand that we need to find out what the cost is, if it can be done, the safety has to be determined, and everything else that goes into it. This is not going to happen overnight, in my opinion. Go ahead. I know you don't like to. I, I, um, when I found out that we have to put up a fence, we have to put up a fence so uh, in, in where the Water and Light owns that. I don't know how long, but it has to be a six foot high chain link fence with a gate on it so big. Don't even know how much it's gonna cost us. But we're gonna have to go out there and build that fence at our own expense. And, and is that coming out of this $15,000? I, I don't think it is. I think there's a lot of money here that the town is gonna pay for this and we got a lot of residents that come to this meeting. I don't think there's a resident out here tonight said they were for it. And, and I think some of those questions that they ask here tonight should be answered. Thank you for your comment. Anybody else? Hearing none, all in favor of the motion to go to the seat committee, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? I'm opposed. I'm opposed. Is there two opposed? Yes, sir. Correct. Thank you. Good luck, folks. We're all opposed. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, I guess I can't speak more candidly, but there was, and there will be a lot more yet. We'll move on to item 11, consider possible action on the ad hoc committee for reviewing the software package for the town. I'd like to have Lisa, Amber, and Jewel Nineman on the committee. Those are the three main users of the software. I'd like to have them look at the possible Do you mean Amy or Amber? Amy. <laughs> Amy. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have two, two ladies with A's and how often do I mix them up? <laughs> yeah. Great I, I knew you were talking about me. I looked at you, didn't I? I, I? did. Oh, I wasn't looking at you, but I knew so you were talking about me. So who are the three people? <laughs> me. <laughs> Amy, Lisa, and Jewel Nenneman. Um, Peggy had offered to um, get involved, too, and she, right now she's utilizing a lot of Excel programs in order to do the planning and zoning, zoning and building and um, the zoning part and I think she really needs to be involved in this to see um, you know how it can help with her to become more expedient in her job too I think she should also be added to this because right now you're doing treasurer clerk and um, and the senior the, and senior employee in the office which is more into um, the circuit court system rather than zoning building and zoning Uh, I'm going to make that recommendation. Thank you. No, my, my recommendation of oh. three. I don't. I don't like four. You never then, have. Then, well, I know. If you just and if there's travel involved, it's whatever. William, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, there, there, there's three people that work for the IT at the county level, and uh, another one is Amy, who is head of it. She also lives in the town of Grand Rapids. And at, at the last meeting, she's intending to go out to townships and how we can join in with, with them. I, I, and I, I, know, I know we don't want to join in with anybody else at all. We, we we're perfect with who we got. But I think, I think those, that committee should consist of some of these people that do work in IT and, and they live right here in the town. There's no reason they can't they can't have a discussion with them, invite them to visit, meet them with them. So I'm making that appointment as a motion. Is there a second to it? Second. Amber, any other discussion? Second. Yeah. If not all in favor say aye. Aye. I'm an aye. Those opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Federal Apostle action on donation to the 4th of July fireworks team fireworks committee and we donated uh, we appropriated a thousand dollars in the budget same as last year which we did not use is that correct yes it is so they have been assured that it is planning to go forward this year so are we wishing to make that donation I'll make a motion to for that donation Second. Motion by Bill, second by Patty. Any discussion? Yes, I thank you, Mr. I, I, I hope you do put something on the agenda about the fireworks uh, because of what went on last year. I don't want to call it, it sounded like a war zone, but it was worse than what a war zone sounds like. It was just terrible. The, 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 the police came three or four times. And as uh, far as I know, there was no report of anybody getting arrested or fined on that situation. So I hope we do talk about it. And I will make a motion that uh, uh, we had a motion on the table now. That's correct. Any other discussion? And then all in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Any opposed? We have um, 13. I'd also <coughs> like to make a motion that we put this on the agenda for our June meeting. That's a number 18. You're ahead of yourself. Future agenda items. Well, don't let me forget it. I won't spill it. I, I wrote it down already for you. 13 April uh, disbursement vouchers. Do you have a chance to take a look at them? Do we Is there any questions? Uh, yeah, I have one. Do we pay the, um, the building inspector monthly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not his normal weight. That's based upon his, 
the building permits that to be how it works. Well, we're paying him every yeah. month, right? Mm -hmm. So it varies every month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on then, uh, 14 is operator license application. Do we have a couple mm -hmm. in front of us? We have a one-year request for uh, from Sharla Hybert for Hoozles and a uh, Lackwin Thomas for a provisional. That, oh, I'm sorry, that was not approved. That was denial. So we have one approval and one denial. So move this, Chairman. Okay. Motion by Bill. I'll second. Second by Amber. Any other discussion? There are none. All in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? No opposed. Monthly reports from committees. Public Works. I don't have an official recommended report, but uh, Public Works will be holding a meeting on the 17th at the uh, Town Garage at 6 p.m. on uh, reviewing road projects. <coughs> 